Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. In life, one of the things that we hate for people to do is to ask us questions, especially when it gets to the personal level. I don't know about you, but personally, often it feels that one of the hardest things to answer is when people ask you the question, so how are you really doing today? How are your levels? How are you doing in life? <laughs> so often, we want to just look at them and just laugh and walk away, especially when these people know exactly what's going on in our lives, what we're going through, and how hard it is for us to do life at times. God continues to come back to us and remember, remind us, tell us to remember, and tell us to remind each other that where our true everything is needs to be found in Jesus. There is no way that we're able to do life as it is now if we're not in Jesus. Even more than that, if our trust is not in him, there's no way that we're going to be able to go forward. Throughout the pages of the Bible, God continues to come back to us, reminding us that when our trust is in him, yes, things are going to be up and down and sideways and all the way till around the world and back and seems like a, a galactic thing as well. Keep our focus on him. That's where things need to start and that's where things need to end. We have so much that we can worry about. Question is, should we be worried about it? Answer truthfully, no. No, we shouldn't be worried about it because we need to remind ourselves continually that God is in control and ultimately he is seeing us through. I don't know about you, but in my mind, that is an amazing promise that we can continually bank on. Question is, are we actually doing that? Today's verses comes to us from Proverbs chapter 3, looking at verses 5 and 6. It says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Now I encourage you, go back, take a look at the context of that chapter. Take a look at what the author is trying to get at what he's trying to get us to, and even more, how he's calling us to be in Jesus in all things. Here's something that we need to remember consistently. Anytime that God asks us to do something, there's one ultimate thing that he's asking us to do. He's asking us to go. Everything else he does through us. He's wanting us to go on that journey with him. I don't know about you. I know from my side, I'm still very human. I know you are too. Together, united, we can encourage each other that it will be okay going forward. And God is going to see us through because he promised so what's it going to take for us to trust him fully? That's something I hope that we can continue to talk about, not just through this time period, but through the ages to come as well. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.